for today's cup of coffee, we're trying to get youngest kids shit together with the ADHD, <laughs> non-medication, trying to keep him from making distracting... Because when threw the when, fidget cube. I did, because he could make noises with it. Severe ones. And that's why I was like, what? out of all the things... Then other times, I... he's got something flipping over right at my peripheral vision. Because I'm literally basically right in front of her. It's not her peripheral vision. It's right in front of her. And, and it's like, here I am trying to read. And then you all are like, my God, she's totally illiterate. Uh, no, I'm really not. I stutter and stammer at certain points anyhow. But if you all understood the distractions, you would be going, damn girl, you doing good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to get him situated. And today's subject, because that it was so lengthy, and some things I can get them down to a an appropriate like sound bite type thing. Uh-huh. And then other things can't. And this one because if you leave out key parts of it, there's no point in doing it. And so this is going to be a couple of different cups. It's going to be extended cups. And partially squished mellow ASMR. Oh, God. So, anyhow, what we're going to be talking about is Project Bluebeam. And I had wanted to do this couple of weeks ago and got distracted and other things and I was telling kid there earlier I think that it's very strange I would go down rabbit holes and it's like I will learn something and then that rabbit hole will lead to I, I think I'm going to a totally different direction and no it's just a continuation of the same theme hmm. so I think that's odd but it is what it is and Project I mean, Bluebeam is something that I had anticipated it happening a year ago. Uh -huh, so, so I'm still waiting for it. And I what? mean, who knows that? When you're doing like research about a specific topic, obviously it's going to have stuff that leads into it. No, this I will be looking up something totally, totally different. Oh. And it will. It just happens that's odd i well i'm an odd person anyhow uh project blue beam if you're not familiar with that this is going to go what you could be looking up recipes for vegan marshmallows or something like that and the, project blue beam yeah, well, use marshmallows yeah it's like here, here how how is marshmallows gonna be used in the great deception yeah um this goes into the realm of art bill very much it goes into the realm of um alex jones mm -hmm. parts of it will go into the realm of david ike and so the alex jones part. with any of this Easy. stuff with any of this stuff take what you can use and leave the rest like I said i could do without the alex jones part because he's just batshit crazy most of the time he will really is. is he is he really? I think he is. Um, so it's one of those that, like I said, take what you can use, leave the rest. Mm. There's enough stuff going on in our world today that it's like, damn, this very much coincides with what dude wrote back in 94. And this is the problem. When, when people know something's coming, uh, have an have an inner knowing different things like that when they start trying to set dates that's when they screw up because then the, if that date comes and goes everybody has a tendency to go oh well they were wrong about everything so that's you know it's like don't don't set dates on shit just say at some future time I have seen, you know, this is going on. People have told me this. And so, I, you know, it does make you wonder, is it self-disclosure? Is it a matter of, uh, you know, misdirection? Mm -hmm. 
Because in our world today, we have so much that is designed to break brains and is damnably effective. Yeah, absolutely it is. But So you do start to question your reality. That's why you don't pay attention to this stuff 24-7. I don't pay attention to it 24-7. No, I'm not I've done it do, for... but I'm saying like anyone. Okay, I've done this. I'm 56, and I've started doing a lot of this stuff from birth on. I mean, seriously, knowing stuff, doing things, because I was born odd. Mm-hmm. Um, getting into some of this other stuff from the time that I was in elementary school. So it's not that I do this 24-7. I mean, I do have other... I didn't say you in I specific. understand. I was... But there are people, I understand, that if they sit there and they watch mainstream news or whatever all the time, if they listen to talk radio all the time, yeah. any of this stuff, you've got to have some balance. Exactly. You know, go outside and just sit. Sit on the ground or whatever. Touch grass. Yeah. Yeah. Go out and um, have yourself a cup of coffee at a restaurant. Interact with somebody. Call somebody on the phone. See how they're doing. Mm -hmm. That being said, if you are of a nervous persuasion or anything like that this is another one of those cups that you might want to skip because this goes into some very disturbing content and i will put a you know like a content an adult content I mean, this is a disturbing topic it's a disturbing time we're living through yeah I think there's good points of it, but, you know. Well, yeah, that's, you make the most of, the best of what you got, and that's part of the challenge during this time. Anyhow, uh, Sergey Monast was the different, that was the dude who had originally written this about Project Blue Beam, and it was originally published <clears throat> in 1994, and there was a note here that uh, Mr. Monast his he actually died in 96 and he and another journalist both of whom were researching project blue beam died of quote unquote heart attacks within weeks of each other although neither had a history of, of heart disease and sergey was in canada and the other canadian journalist was visiting ireland prior to his death the canadian government abducted uh, sergey's daughter and there was another lady or somebody I got it that it was a lady who had a little fuller account of what happened to Sergey. Mm -hmm. And she says, a member of our accountability structure, Dorothy Dart, there we go, reports that a Canadian investigator into New Age globalism. Now, when he uses the term New Age, that was what was used then. Basically, it's New World Order. Yeah. And that he had supposedly died of a heart attack. It says the man has faithfully exposed the New World Order from the last decade. His children were homeschooled, so the authorities took his eight-year-old daughter away. Then his seven-year-old son was taken. As they said, the parents were abusing them emotionally by stopping the children going to a state school. The father was then arrested and spent the night in jail. Next day at home, he had a heart attack. He was 46 years old. This brave man has left a wife who now has no family. Pray that she can get her little ones back. Our source said that the Canadian investigator, Sergei Monast, wrote to her in Australia not long ago, saying he had been threatened many times and did not expect to survive. Damn. Mm -hmm. So, he had written that, and part of this I am going to have to read as best I can verbatim. Mm-hmm. Because, like I said, some things you can reduce down and other things you can't because then you're leaving out a lot of information. Right. And he says the infamous NASA, which stands for National uh, Aeronautics and Space Administration, Blue Beam Project has four different steps in order to implement the New Age religion with the Antichrist at its head. Uh, Another note on this. This is just because the terminology that he uses don't let that throw you you know listen like i said listen to the information 
Uh, you know, you can exchange certain words. This was what he understood to the best of his ability at the time of, of this writing. Right. Okay. So, but that could throw a lot of people. Anyhow, the, the saying about the New Age religion with the Antichrist at its head, we must remember that the New Age religion is the very foundation for the New World Government, which is, uh, without which religion, the dictatorship of the New World Order is completely impossible. Mm. I'll repeat that, without a universal belief in the New Age religion, the success of the New World Order will be impossible. That is why the Blue Bean Project is so important to them, but has been so well hidden until now. And it says, Engineered Earthquakes and Hoaxed Discoveries. The first step in the NASA Blue Bean Project concerns the breakdown or re-evaluation uh, of our archaeological knowledge. It deals with the setup with artificially created earthquakes at certain precise locations on the planet of supposedly new discoveries which will finally explain to all people the error of all fundamental religious doctrines. The falsification of this information will be used to make all nations believe that their religious doctrines have been misunderstood for centuries and misinterpreted. Psychological preparations for the first step have already been implemented with the film 2001 A Space Odyssey, the Star Trek series, and Independence Day, all of which deal with invasions from space and the coming together of all nations to repel the invaders. The last film's Jurassic Park uh, deals with theories of evolution and claim God's uh, words are lies. Now, we'll say within... Is, you do not question that. Well, within the New Age community, it is our roads lead to heaven. Mm -hmm. That it's, and that is part of the message. Oh, everything's been misinterpreted. Everything's been misunderstood. And it's a matter of questioning everything. This is not a matter of healthy skepticism. This is a breaking down through gaslighting to make you question reality itself. And we, we've seen this happening, and people are falling off the edge left and right. Yeah. Uh, another one, hoax discoveries. What is important to understand is the first step uh, in those earthquakes that will hit at different parts of the world where scientific and archaeological teachings have indicated that arcane mysteries have been buried. By those types of earthquakes, it will be possible for scientists to rediscover those arcane mysteries, which will be used to discredit all fundamental religious doctrines. This is the first preparation for the plan for humanity, because what they want to do is destroy the beliefs of all Christians and Muslims on the planet. Now, I thought that was interesting that he did not include the other part of Abrahamic religions. That, that was interesting to me. To do that, they need uh, some false proof from the far past that will prove to all nations that the religions have been misinterpreted and misunderstood. The second step in the NASA Blue Beam Project involves a gigantic space show with three-dimensional optical holograms and sounds, laser projection of multiple holographic images to different parts of the world, each receiving a different image according to the predominating religion, uh, regional religion, re religious faith, <laughs> whatever, regional, whatever. national, religious faith. This thing. new God's voice will be speaking in our languages. In order to understand that, we must study various secret services research done in the last 25 years. The Soviets have perfected an advanced computer, even exported them and fed them with the minute uh, physio-psychological particulars based on their studies of the anatomy and electromechanical composition of the human body and the studies of the electrical, chemical, and biological properties of the human brain. These computers were fed as well with the languages of all human cultures. Now, this goes back to what we discussed on the previous cup, which was silent sound. Yeah. So that's part of this. Uh, it says that allocating electronic wavelengths for every person in every society and culture could induce suicidal thoughts if the person doesn't comply with the dictates of the New World Order. And that was where last night they were talking about implanting emotions. Uh-huh. So. Which is not, that's not. That ain't cool. That is scary. It is scary. Uh, there are two different steps to aspect, or two different aspects to step two. 
The first is the space show. Where does this space show come from? Uh, which is a matter of holographic images, which will be used in a simulation of the ending during which all nations will be shown scenes that will be the fulfillment of that which they desire to verify the prophecies and adversary events. So, you know, because every religion has, um, you know, a belief as far as end time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with these pro uh, projections from satellites onto the sodium layer about 60 miles above the Earth, they will see tests, uh, and we'll see tests of these every once in a while, which are called UFOs and flying saucers. Uh, the result of these deliberately staged events will be to show the world the new Christ, the new Messiah, for the immediate implementation of the new world religion. Enough truth will be uh, foisted upon an unsuspecting world to hook them into the lie. And he, he quotes here, even the most learned will be deceived. That's not the actual scripture, which is Matthew 24, 24. Mm -hmm. uh, King, New King James Version says, For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. So there That's, will be certain people that will not be deceived. Yeah. Uh, it's still freaky. It is freaky. The project has perfected the ability for some device, referred to as tractor beams by ufologists, to lift up an enormous number of people as in a rapture and wish the entire group into a never-never land. Uh, we see tests of this device in the abduction of humans by those mysterious little gray aliens who snatch people out of their beds and through windows into waiting motherships. The calculated resistance to the universal religion and the new Messiah and the ensuing holy wars will result in the loss of human life on a scale never imagined before in all human history. Jesus. Now, let me say that I don't I agree with everything that this man is saying on some of these things. Uh -huh. But what I have wondered for years now, and it's interesting because in the past several months, the chemtrails and stuff have not been as prevalent. But for years, they were very much to sit there and watch these things crisscross the skies. These were not vapor trails. Yeah. Because vapor trails evaporate. Mm -hmm. I mean, you still see chemtrails once in a while. Right. But what did they do? Whatever this stuff is, that it will, it doesn't dissipate. It covers the sky. It does cover the sky. And what a great, I always wondered, it's like, okay, what are they trying to hide? Maybe it's not that they're hiding. Maybe that is the projection screen. Maybe. And wasn't it uh, Gates that had some kind of something that he was wanting to do to the atmosphere? I have no idea. For real. I didn't look that up. But there was something that he was proposing on that. Uh, it says, The Blue Bean Project will pretend to be the universal fulfillment of the prophecies of old as <clears throat> major in an event that has occurred 2,000 years ago. In principle, it will make use of the skies as a movie screen on the sodium layer at about 60 miles as space-based laser-generating satellites project uh, simultaneous images to the four corners of the planet in every la language and dialect according to the region. It deals with the religious aspect of the New World Order and is deception and seduct seduction on a massive scale. Mm. Uh, and then it goes on with computer animation and sounds appearing to emanate from the very depths of space. Astonished, ardent followers of various creeds will witness their own return messiahs in convincing, lifelike reality. Uh, then the projections will merge of the different, you know, leaders of, of faith will merge into one after uh, correct explanations of the mysteries and revelations will have been disclosed. Hmm. So through the earthquakes that's supposedly revealing all this stuff, that's just like Edgar Casey had made the prediction that there was some kind of library of knowledge or whatever that would be found at the foot of the Sphinx at a certain point. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And I says if that will actually happen. I, this one God will, in fact, be the Antichrist who will explain that the various scriptures have been misunderstood and misinterpreted 
and that the religions of old are responsible for turning brother against brother, nation against nation. Therefore, all uh, old religions must be abolished to make way for the new age, new world religion, representing the one God, Antichrist, that they see before them. Mm-mm. Well, we see that going on. That's been going on for a minute. I mean, for centuries. Because that you've got these people that they stepped in and started misrepresenting the original mm-hmm. belief system totally, completely. So this is not new. Yep, right. Uh, anyhow, this um, well, superbly, this superbly staged falsification will result in dissolved social and religious disorder on a grand scale, each nation blaming the other for the deception, setting loose millions of programmed religious fanatics through demonic possession on a scale never witnessed before. Now, what I'm saying right now, what, what we're seeing is either a precursor of this, but it's not as far as re- religious ideologies, but political. Mm-hmm. Uh, this event will occur at a time of profound worldwide political anarchy and general tumult uh, created by some worldwide catastrophe. Uh, we kind of sort of have that going on now. Sort of. The United Nation even now plans to use Beethoven's Song of Joy as the anthem for the introduction of the new uh age one world religion if we put this space show in parallel with the star wars program we get this combination of electromagnetic radiation and hypnosis which have always also been uh, the subject of intensive research and uh, anybody who as far as channeling and it says that these channelers need to understand that they don't know exactly where they're getting their messages from that Uh they don't they need to understand the source of their divine guidance yeah and having been one of those people yeah like i said it's like uh you know a chat room who you you don't know who 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 are you you're talking to who are you? You know, would you let random stranger that you talked on a, to on a chat room in your house? No. Would that be smart? Right. So don't be doing the channeling shit. Uh, the Sydney Morning Newspaper <laughs> don't, don't, don't do channeling. published an item on March 21st of 1983, which announced that the Soviets were invading the human mind. Uh, they were no longer talking about the Soviets but we're talking about the United Nations, the minions of the New World Order, and those who are feeding the computers with the necessary information. Now, what has been one of the massive things, problems that people have been having for years with the Internet? Identity theft, people, you know, collecting all your data, that the data is yeah. being sold and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sam, nope. it's, it's, I mean... Nope. I think they missed nope. it by a few years on some of this stuff. I think nope. a lot of it was that Russia had been, uh, you know, projected as the big boogeyman for a when it's actually China. long time. Mm-hmm. I think it was switching, you know, bait or and switch could on that. Or be a that. mixture of. I, I don't know. Uh, it says that the editor of the column in which the article appeared even states that the. Uh, Peace made points too important to ignore, which is why I'm, you know, presenting this information at this point in time. Right. And then you've got about artificial thought and communication. The advancement of techniques propel us toward the third step of the Blue Beam project that goes along with the telepathic and electronically augmented two-way communication where ELF, VLF, and LF waves, and those are different frequencies, Mm -hmm. uh, will reach each person from within his or her own mind, convincing each of them that their own God is speaking to them from the very depths of their soul. Well, right there's one of your keys to know that it's not God. He's not going to speak to your brain. He speaks to your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the ancients knew that, that it's a matter of the heart is what controls that. Yep. Um, in January of 19, that very true. Yeah, 1991, the University of Arizona hosted a conference entitled the NATO Advanced Research Workshop on Current and Emergent Phenomena and Biomolecular Systems. 
And there was one paper in particular that was delivered at the conference that was a protest and a chilling warning to the attending scientists about the potential abuse of their research findings. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently that, in 91, apparently that was not heated, but that was also, a lot of things had already been set in motion by that point Uh uh, because I graduated high school in 83, uh, went into college, the that file and as far as when i started nursing the the clinical point of it which was about a year or so later and that was when aids first had was everywhere and that they were spreading the fear mongering oh don't touch people don't drink after people don't yeah so it's it's sort of the same shit being there just well sure it was and that those people suffered and died needlessly. Mm-hmm. And that you've got some Fuck of this. You, Fauci. Uh, mm, yeah. Yeah. And could especially have saved millions. Could especially have saved thousands of people. Actually. Oh, he could. Yeah. And especially when you've known people that died from from that disease. Mm-hmm. And and the hell that they went through. Absolutely. Mm-mm. Because it is personal. Yeah. So. And um, it says that their findings also stated that the United States has already developed communications equipment which can make the blind see, the deaf hear, and the lame walk. It can relieve the terminally ill from pain without the use of drugs or surgery. And some of this equipment is now operational within the governmental uh, alphabet peoples. Uh, it will never be used to make the blind see, the deaf hear, and the lame walk because it is central to the domestic political agenda and foreign policy. And at that point, they said George Bush. And if you go into that family and you trace in all that stuff like that, which we'll not go into today, and it says his puppet masters of the New World Order, well, the same thing that's going on today. I mean, my God, you can even see the strings on this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Domestically, the new communications equipment is being used to torture and murder persons uh, if they don't agree with certain agendas and ideologies. In other words, if they don't bend the knee, then they they end up, you know, (sighs) Epstein. It says that overseas experimentation is taking place on hostages held by the United States and Canada, Great Britain, Australia, Germany, Finland, and France. Uh, Free Assange. Free Assange. Additionally, there has been a long series of bizarre suicides amongst British computer scientists, all of whom have had some connection to the United States Navy. Government agencies and the corporations that work with them toward a new world order are prepared to promote anything that will help them arc- achieve their uh, objective of total social control. Wow. If you terrify the public and make them fear for their safety, they will allow you to implement draconian law enforcement practice disarm them and keep extensive records on them and they only have to tell you that it is all to protect you which is a lie yeah but it's also happening today also it promotes the decay of present democratic forms of political systems and leads societies to search for alternative methods of political ideology The alternative has already been planned, which is the New World Order. And uh, again, fear has always been used by powerful uh, elite to control and subjugate the masses. The old maxim, divide and conquer, is being played out to the limit worldwide to ensure that everyone is frightened for their personal safety and to be suspicious of everyone else. This, too, is mind control. 
Psychologist James V. McConnell, which was published in a 1970s issue of Psychology Today, said, quote, The day has come when we can combine sensory deprivation with drug hypnosis and astute manip- manipulation of reward and punishment to gain almost absolute control over an individual's behavior. It should then be possible to achieve a very rapid and highly effective type of uh, positive brainwashing that would allow us to make dramatic changes in a person's behavior and personality, end quote. And it said that, yeah, I mean, that was in the 70s. And what they're saying, it's suggesting is that we should be trained from birth that, uh, we should all do what society wants us to do rather than what we want to do for ourselves. That because they have the technology to do it, no one should now be allowed to have their own individual personality. So you go with your NPCs. Yeah. yeah. This statement and these ideas are important because it is the basic teaching of the United Nations that no one owns his or her own personality. And that same uh, psychologist that uh, McConnell claims that no one has any say-so about the kind of personality they acquire. And there is no reason to believe you have the right to refuse to acquire a new personality if your old personality is considered antisocial. Damn, we're out of the bunch then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because they don't want you to think. That's the whole point, the way that the school system has been for a long time. It is not designed to teach children to think. No, it's not. It's, it made is, to, it's, made, it's designed for them to regurgitate whatever is thrown at them. It's a matter to indoctrinate. It's a matter for them to question uh, their family, their family's belief systems, what all these things like that, traditions, uh, mores, everything. It, again, it's like you've got, and this is kid brain. This is how kid brain works. That an adult, they are trained to listen to an adult. Okay, within the public school systems, what are you doing? You're shipping these kids off. Uh, They're spending more time with these uh, strangers that are supposed to be teachers than they are with the parents. Yep. And then the parents come back. They don't communicate with the kids. They have no clue what these kids are being taught, such as, uh, you know, they have found out recently Loudoun County cops pick a side, um, you know, and and so people are beginning to wake up. There has been a lot of oh shit awakening moments lately. Yeah. But the question is, is it too late? I think. I hope not. I, I don't know either. And it says, what is important in this declaration is that the new world order will be set up over the current system, meaning the old way of thinking and behavior and religion will be considered the old and incorrect way of thinking, and that they can change it at one of the eradication camps of the United Nations to make sure that anyone that with this antisocial behavior will be dispo- depose, disposed of quickly so that other modified individuals will be able to fulfill the needs and agendas of the New World Order without being distracted by the truth. It's sort of like Plato's cave on some of that stuff. And they ask the question, could this be the greatest mind control project ever? The NASA Blue Bean Project is the prime directive for the New New World Order's absolute control over the populations of the entire Earth. And in the December 1980 edition of the U.S. Army Journal called The Military Review, a column, column by Lieutenant Colonel John B. Alexander, it, it's entitled The New Mental Battlefield, Beam Me Up, Spock. And it provides further insight into the technical capabilities uh, at the disposal of the comptroller. And again, that was written in 1980. Now, my God, how have things advanced since then? Yep. And so Deed had written, several exam- examples will demonstrate areas in which progress have been made. The transference of energy from one organism to another, the ability to heal or cause disease to be transmitted over a distance, thus inducing illness or death from no apparent cause, telepathic behavior modification, which includes the ability to induce hypnotic states up to a distance of 1,000 kilometers, have been reported. 
The use of telepathic hypnosis also holds great potential. This capability could allow agents to be deeply planted uh, with no conscious knowledge of their programming. In movie terms, the Manchurian candidate lives and does not even require a telephone call. Other mind-to-mind -mind induction techniques are being considered. If perfected, this capability could allow the direct transference of thought via telepathy from one mind or group of minds to a select target audience. The Damn. unique factor is that the recipient will not be aware that the thought has been implanted from an external source. He or she will believe the thoughts are, are original. This is terrifying. Absolutely. This really is. Well, let's go back to the TikTok thing. It's a different way, but when you've got a specific age group and it's like, oh, this person's doing this, they believe this, they like this, and that that group of kids, that age group, they, they very much have a herd mentality. It's just mm -hmm. how, that's why it is vital to have positive role models, especially adult role models. Yeah, but on there, literally, you can get anyone. Like, there's a people of all belief system sure. in there. Sure. But humans are pretty basic in, in their needs. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you've got food, water, shelter, uh, clothing, and, and love and acceptance. We are social creatures. Yeah. And <laughs> that's me. that's one of the blowbacks of this or it's this distancing and nobody talked to anybody and that sensory deprivation. And that's a form of psychological torture. It is. Because I was researching earlier about how that the people in the mental health hospitals at the turn of, you know, at the late 1800s and stuff, how they were treated. And Nellie Bly was the name of a reporter who had had herself committed for 10 days. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that, th that they would do them, they would make them sit in these benches, chairs, whatever, for hours on end without them being able to talk, move, anything like that. And that... Well, it's kind of difficult, if not impossible, for someone to sit completely still. Absolutely. But this is, again, this is mind control. This was Stanford Prison Experiment before that it was an actual experiment. because, mm -hmm. And that you had two of these nurses who apparently were, uh, you know, sadists. And that they would come in and berate the people if they didn't do what they wanted to. Well, you know, some of the people that were hospitalized there were from other uh, countries, and they just couldn't speak the language, and so they had thrown their asses in the asylums. Now, if these people had united against these two bitch nurses, they could have taken their asses out. Absolutely, they could have. So that's, but why didn't they? Why didn't they? Just because again, they because of victim mentality. Victim mentality. You saw what happened in the Stanford prison experiment. Mm -hmm. You had that group of people, and it's like, oh, we are, we're in positions of power. And so they, they thought that it was okay to abuse these people. While the people that uh, were put in the role of, of inmates, it was that victim mentality. Oh, we have to do what they say. At a certain point, people have to start thinking for themselves, looking at who these oppressors are, standing up, forming together, and going, ha, fuck you. There's a time and a place for a good fuck you, and I think we're getting to that time and that place. Yep. The third step of the NASA Blue Bean Project is called Telepathic Electronic Two-Way Communication. And Lieutenant Colonel John Alexander's article continues, quote, It is possible to feed arti artificial thought into the uh, multigen uh, multigenic field via satellite. The mind control of the entire planet is now possible. An individual's only resistance would be to uh, constantly question the motivation behind their thoughts and not act upon thoughts which they consider to be outside their own ideological, religious, and moral boundaries, end quote. So, in other words, it's a matter of doing constant self-check. Yeah. And I've had to do that as far as, like, with the empathic thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, is this mine? If it's not mine, no, you go back to where you came from. 
Once again, it is wise to consider how television, advertising, modern education, and various types of social pressure are used to manipulate those boundaries. And Alexander said again, quote, the information on those kinds of technologies presented here would be considered by some to be ridiculous since it does not conform to their view of reality, but some people still believe the world is flat, end quote. Dear God, that, <clears throat> now that is insane. Like, those people mm -hmm. who believe, th that is true insanity, the people who believe the Earth is flat. Well, I mean, I'll, and this is part of the reason that people believe that, is that they have found out that they've been lied to by various and sundry sources that they trusted, and that, like I said, it just blew their paradigm of what is reality out of the water mm -hmm. to where they trust and believe no one. So it's actually, and yes, I do talk to my therapist about these types of things, so, which is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that is. Uh, the fourth step concerns the universal supernatural manifestation with electronic means. It contains three different orientations. One is to make mankind believe that an alien or off-world invasion is about to occur at every major city on Earth in order to provoke each major nation to use its nuclear weapons in order to strike back. This way, the United Nations Court will require that all those nations which launch nuclear weapons to disarm when the invasion is shown to have been false. And how will the United Nations know that the invasion was false? They will have staged it. Oof. The second is that to is make the Christians believe that the rapture is going to occur with the supposed divine intervention of an alien off-world civilization coming to rescue earthlings for, or from a savage and merciless demon. And that's somebody that doesn't understand exactly as far as what the rapture is. No. The third orientation in the fourth step is a mixture of electronic and supernatural forces. The waves used at that time will allow supernatural forces to travel through optical fibers, coaxial cab cables, and phone lines in order to penetrate to everyone at once through major appliances. This was before Wi-Fi was a thing. Yeah. This embedded is <laughs> it is. Embedded chips will already be in place. The goal of this uh, deals with global satanic ghosts projected all around the world in order to push all populations to the edge of hysteria and madness to drown them in a wave of suicide, murder, and permanent psychological disorders. After the night of the thousand stars, worldwide populations will be ready for the new Messiah to reestablish order and peace at any cost, even at the cost of abdication of freedom. Now let's think of what happened of world the War of the Worlds with the radio broadcast. That yeah. Now add that freaked out many people because there was nothing else like it on the radio at the right. time. Right. Now let's add uh, you know something that is projected to be like that, and people freaked you know it freaked their shit out. Then how would this other you know it'd be the same thing? I mean that's like them using. Um projection at concerts yeah. like you know with miku and yeah like to make it seem like oh, absolutely this, this computer person is actually here on right. stage and that you've got thousands and thousands of people that would go to see a hologram mm -hmm. yeah i'm not gonna lie i would be one of those people too but you know okay then as far as phasing out cash and independence the techniques used in the fourth step is exactly the same used in the past in the ussr to force people to accept communism the same technique will be used by the United Nations to implement the New World Religion and the New World Order. A lot of people ask when uh, this is going to happen and how would they accomplish the visions of the Night of a Thousand Stars and the events that will point to the days when it will begin. It will begin with some kind of worldwide economic disaster. Not a complete crash, but enough to allow them to introduce some kind of in-between currency before they introduce their electronic cash to replace all paper or plastic money. Bitcoin. The in-between currency will be used to force anyone with savings to spend or turn in their cash 
because they understand that people who have money and are not dependent upon them might be the very ones who will mount an insurrection against them. If everyone is broke, no one can fund a war of any kind. Paper currency will cease to exist. This is one of the first signs. Uh, but with that, if you have nothing to back the paper currency, all you've got is a piece of paper. Yeah, pretty much. Now, that's been going on for a long time as far as with the Federal Reserve and Fort Knox, which is reported to be empty when they got rid of the gold standard and stuff like that. And even as far as that, when they're like, oh, buy gold, silver, whatever, are you getting the actual metal that you can hold in your hand or are you getting a piece of paper that says that you have metal? They made right. it illegal for, for people to own over a certain amount of actual physical gold or silver. Mm hmm And th that's... <laughs> There you go. That's the reason they don't want anyone to be wealthy. Oh, well, yeah. Anyhow, equality, equity. They're saying as far as, this is one of those, I'm like, please, God, don't let this be true. They were talking about microchipping animals, birds, fish, different things like that, so that the people who would not accept the New World Order would not be able to hunt or fish anywhere in the world that says if they try they would be tracked and traced by satellites i had never thought of that i've never thought of that either and now it's hunting season right now so that, you know that if that is a thing it has not catch come every to single pass animal though seriously I, well, no, like i said i didn't i didn't say i agreed with everything on this and um it's a matter of trying to make everyone dependent upon a single food and vitamin supply soil and green yeah i mean think about what have they yeah, been doing lately as far as this pushing this oh you the bug burgers and you got to do this and the cows fart and they're destroying the, the atmosphere and all that bullshit yeah um they're changing laws now this is what this day is saying about religion and psychiatric disorders in order to identify anyone who is potentially threatening to the new world order and i will tell you this it is a very huh, if you go if you are a person of faith if you are having a spiritual experience you are putting yourself at risk if you go to a mental health professional because they will put your ass somewhere yeah they will and that's that is mm -mm, that is not a good thing uh even if you're not a person of a specific faith and you're still having like spiritual experiences like you are psychic or something sure like you can that, have spiritual they'll experiences still, they'll put you in there i think a lot of the people that are in in these places that they are having some kind of a spiritual experience mm -hmm. and that it's not understood no because our culture has gotten rid of the people who did know i know that there are other cultures that deal with uh, what is called mental illness totally different than how we do it's not seen necessarily as a mental illness a lot of it, it is a spiritual crisis or a spiritual awakening mm -hmm. you know so it's good oh, to have no. it's good to have some uh guidance by somebody that knows what the hell they're talking about yeah uh those who are found defective will be sent to eradication camps where their organs will be taken out and sold to the highest bidders sound familiar repo the genetic opera well, those who are not killed outright will be used as slave labor or used in medical experiments. The goal of a dictatorship is to control everyone, everywhere on the planet, ruthlessly and without exception. That's why the new technology being introduced everywhere is a technology for the control of people. And then tomorrow, it's a, another thing about Project Blue Bean. And it's like, well, shit. Oh, dear God. Yeah. Dear God. And this, this one is a mind. This topic really, truly is a mind breaker because it's got, it, it does like plant seeds of suspicion. It's because that there's a lot of shit that they discussed in this that's happening. Exactly. So. And I told you uh -huh. it was going to be Alex Jones ish, uh, David Ike ish. I can deal with David Ike, and I can deal with you know uh, Art Bell. Yeah, Art Bell stuff. Mm -hmm. Once again. 
now tomorrow will not be as lengthy i know that this one because there was such a vast amount and there's no way that i could i couldn't compress that into yeah it's a little over a little over half an hour now but that's that's perfectly fine about 50 that's perfect wash your dishes in your car while you're listening to this wash your dishes in your car yes (laughs) both of them so anyhow folks sorry that it did take that long but if I had broken that up hey, into gives, seg- segments, it wouldn't have been. Hey, this gives people more time to, like, you know, do stuff as they listen to us. Yeah. Pray. You can pray Clean as you your listen house. To it. Yep. Clean your room. Clean wash your, your cats. Room. Wash your animals. <laughs> wash your ass. Absolutely. Wash your ass. <laughs> you stink. You stink. Wash your asses. <laughs> And no matter what we present Brush your here, teeth. yeah, we you've we, gotten a full-on foghorn coming out of your face. <laughs> we trust that no matter what happens, that God is in control. Yeah, I can't control what other people do, but I can control my reaction to it. I can't control the world, but I can make my little microcosm better. Mm-hmm. So, yep. If you've had experiences with paranormal, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids. Um, anything like that. If you've got local, regional, family myths, legends, send those to cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com mm-hmm. and know that you're loved and that somebody gives a damn. Yep. And do you have a conspiracy theory that you all want us to like talk about or well, anything like that? I wish this was so. just conspiracy theory. I truly do. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Because. For legal reasons, this is all alleged. This is not. Oh, sure, this is alleged. Mm hmm. So. So. uh, We're not used to diagnose, treat, or whatever, anything. Nope. No, we're not here to fear monger or anything. This is just purely entertainment. (laughs) Yeah. Do what you want. For entertainment purposes only, presented by mountain goth odd people who are rejects of society. Mountain goth reject and, uh,. I don't know what the hell I am, a, y- <laughs> a Y2K purgatory. There you go. So, anyhow, thank you for spending time with us and sharing a cup of coffee with us. Mm-hmm. And we'll pray one for another. Yep. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and most of all, subscribe. Yeah, we'll see you on the next cut. Yeah. Bye. Bye.